Today, I want to teach you how to have a conversation with someone about your feelings. A conversation is talking to someone and then they say something back. So you're going to have to take turns. I know that we all have families that look different. So you might have, you might be in a home with mom or dad or both of those people. You might have your grandparents with you. You might have brothers, sisters with you. You might not have all of those people with you. So I'm going to show you um, a couple different ways to have a conversation. You wanna make sure that whoever you are talking to, that you're comfortable with sharing your feelings. Um, so you choose the person that you want to talk to. If you don't have any of those people, like everyone is at work or everyone is sleeping, you can talk to a pet. So like if you have a dog or a cat or a rabbit, you could talk to them. If you don't have that and you have a favorite stuffed animal, you can talk to them. And if you don't have that, then a good way to kind of express your feelings so it's kind of like talking excuse me it's kind of like talking but it's writing instead that's a good way to get your feelings out there um so those are all your options okay I just want you to somehow get your feelings out because I know we all have a lot of feelings. So today I'm going to use a stuffed animal. Since both of my parents are busy and my pet is sleeping, I'm going to use my stuffed animal. A conversation means you take turns. So I'm going to go first and tell my stuffed animal how I feel. I feel happy because I thought it was going to rain today. And then when I looked at my phone this morning, it said it's not going to rain anymore. So I was really um, happy to see that the weather had changed for today. And then if my bear could talk back to me, I would say, how are you feeling today? And they would say something like, I feel hungry. <laughs> they haven't had breakfast yet. Make sure you eat your breakfast, okay? And that's pretty much it. You could record yourself doing this and post it on Class Dojo. You could um, practice writing and drawing a picture that matches what you wrote. So if I said I feel happy, I should be drawing a happy face, not a sad face or an angry face. You don't have to do those things today. You have to do that on Friday, but it's always good to practice. And I would love to see your work. So I hope this makes sense and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.